Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Basically, we're going to make you a millionaire by giving you the chance to win one of three beautiful properties on the Valdivia estate worth more than three million rand. It's insane. And our, our contestants have been on three challenges so far, or two challenges so far. Uh, and I'd really be keen to hear what your guys' input is so far and what they've done, because today is the day they get briefed on their third challenge. Yeah. So what do you guys mm -hmm. think of the product that they've done so far? How are you feeling about Winner Home? Would you apply to win one of these three? Yeah, I definitely would. I want to yeah. win all three of them. Like, whoever wins, definitely. I just want that house but I feel like the contestants are really only now understanding that this is a tough competition yeah. and yeah. I feel like as much as I, I, I love the designs and I've, I, there's some, something to appreciate from each one of their yeah. rooms I feel like they're not pushing it far enough I'm not I haven't seen anything particularly designed yeah, forward quite safe. Mm. and innovative but I do have my own favorites I, I've got a yeah. favorite I must be honest <laughs> but watching the show makes me f want to renovate my own apartment exactly now. I, a few ideas you like always want to renovate your apartment I, and I'm always changing something, so yeah. now I'm quite you know, itchy feet. I just want to change stuff up now. <laughs> Take a look at me in guest bedroom, for instance. I mean, I think he's done some really cool things with that 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 uh, that light, that side lamp, that yeah. one of the sort of like dangling down. I never expected that. I always had one of those lamps that you know stands up. Yeah, but the dangling I thing do is so like cool. <laughs> I do like it, but it kind of feels like I would knock my head on it if I got up too quickly. <laughs> but then I also I feel like his um, his bed's a bit too big for the space. Yeah. I get a feeling of it being cramped. But the colors are but amazing, colors are and I love the four. Yeah. In the spare bedroom, your bed can be a little bit because remember, you're not going to need space to actually live in that room. It's sleep over for the night over. and then pack your bag and go home. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Joanne's um, spare bedroom is fantastic. I really like this space. Yeah. How cool is that chair, though? That chair is amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and she... I actually like the reverse side of this picture. There, there, that, because that yeah. to me looks like a spare bedroom. They've almost she... made it look like a boutique hotel room. Yeah, yeah. Joanne's so style's very warm and quirky for me. And she's done the thing which I've actually chatted to her about it before. She's going for the simplistic look. Everyone else will try to cram as much design as you can to things. She said, no, right. aesthetically speaking, let's keep it nice and simple, which I really like. So right. this is our final guest bedroom, obviously, Rudolph's. Uh, he's, he's been the winner of the previous two challenges so yeah. far uh, by our judges, but he's never won been the viewer favorite yet oh, okay. for the competition so I think it's just interesting to see that the designers are saying conceptually brilliant sale brilliant all of those elements brilliant I think maybe it's a personality I thing mean that, that is a fantastic out. guest bedroom in fact yeah. I'd like to copy everything that he's just done and move it into my yeah. guest bedroom yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. but all, all of them all of them but are, I they think really they're a high good. caliber of, of design yeah. contestants Absolutely. really do and it's going to be a stiff year. competition definitely mm. well they've still got more challenges to go so today they're being thrown straight back into the deep end let's head over to Arc Interiors to find out what what their next challenge is going to be. Well, welcome contestants to the next assignment, the main bedroom or the master bedroom. Whenever we design a bedroom, first thing you position is the bed. Where does the bed go? Okay, have you got space for the side tables? Can you maybe fit in a little couch somewhere? Would you watch TV from the bed? or from the couch or from a chair. And then other practical things such as how do you dress in the bedroom in the sense that are the cupboards part of the bedroom space? Do you, for instance, take the clothes out and lay them on the bed or is there a little ottoman that you can use to actually dress and, and choose the clothes that you want to wear? We very often, we will use carpet in the bedroom because of course the bedroom is the one place that you do tend to kick your shoes off. Very often we also put a rug on the carpet or on the tiles if you choose to go with tiles, just to give it that softness again. Lighting is also incredibly important. The quickest way to ruin a romantic evening is put the wrong light on and it's like, oh my gosh, this is this what you look like? No, 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 of course not. So you have to have romantic lighting and as well as functional lighting, because of course there are times when you've got a dress and you want to see yourself properly and um, brightly as opposed to dimly um, but I think it's important that you can dim the lights down we very often use candles because candles give a lovely scent and of course that flickering light makes an evening very special. Window treatments are very important considering privacy what should be taken into consideration? Window treatment is very important of course because you need to sleep in the room I personally 
don't like heavy curtains, so I tend to go to block out blinds, roll down blinds. But the problem with those is that you normally have a little gap running down the side. Most people do want block out blinds or block out pull curtains. And, and of course you guys have a really tricky situation because it, you've got the ceiling that runs at an angle. And I don't really have a solution for that, so I'm looking forward to you guys sorting out this problem that all designers always have. What furniture pieces would you deem important in the main bedroom? It's really just the objet that you maybe want to decorate the spaces into something quite beautiful. Considering the size of the space, what bed size would you recommend? I personally prefer a big bed, so normally I go king size extra length. So it's uh, I think the 1.8 by the 2 meter length. So that's that you need a big bedroom for, but I think uh, uh, a queen or a king size normally is a very good size and very comfortable size. Sure, some very interesting advice that we got there from ARC themselves. And after yesterday's comments, I think all three of our contestants are looking to up their game. But first, let's take a look at the projected budgets for each team's design master bedroom. So this is what each contestant is planning to spend on that master bedroom. Minentle for Team L Decoration have a total projected budget of 89,500 Rand. His budget uh, biggest expense uh, is the built-in cupboards, which is valued at 35,000. Rand. He must hopefully be having something big up his sleeve uh, for that one. Joanne and Team Vizi have a conservative budget, in fact, uh, of 45,500 Rand. But will that be enough to our judges, especially after the comments that they gave yesterday? She'll have to be very creative if she wants to win this challenge, I think. Uh, Rudolph and Team Real Estate have a massive projected budget of 135,000 Rand. This is more than double the projected budget of Joanne, and he's aiming to spend 42,000 Rand on furniture alone. So looking forward to seeing whether all of those budgets translate into incredible, futuristic and like incredible design later on right here on Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Remember that you have until this Thursday to vote for your favorite design contestant's bathroom. Don't leave it too late and here's how you enter. Vote for your favorite design contestant's bathroom on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning Plascon paint to the value of 5,000 Rand. You also automatically get entered into the draw to win one of the three finished apartments valued at over 3 million rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.